Gigantopithecus is an extinct ape genus which lived approximately 6 million to 200,000 years ago from the Miocene period through to the Pleistocene period. This animal was enormous, standing approximately 10 feet tall and weighing around 1,000 pounds. An interesting fact about Gigantopithecus is that judging them according to their great size, they must have been extremely strong. They could have been anywhere from 12 to 25 times stronger than a modern human being. Its enormous bulk and brute strength kept Gigantopithecus safe from predators it lived alongside, including tigers, leopards and black bears. However, Gigantopithecus is believed to have had an unusual diet. Examining the cavities of the fossilized teeth of this ape, scientists have discovered they most likely lived on a diet of bamboo, much like a modern panda does today, which is kind of odd for an ape, because they usually live on fruits and vegetation. Some cryptozoologists believe these apes never went extinct. They believe they're still living today and are now living as a mythological creature known as Bigfoot or Yeti. However, this has been thoroughly disputed by genuine scientists, because there is no credible evidence that any sort of creature like that is still alive today. Most people's first encounter with Lyropleridon was in 1999, when the BBC featured this marine reptile in its popular Walking with the Dinosaurs TV series. Unfortunately, the producers depicted this creature of an exaggerated length of over 80 feet, while a more accurate estimate is 30 feet. Nevertheless, Lyropyridon was clearly the apex predator of its marine ecosystem, eating fish, squid and other smaller marine reptiles. Like many carnivorous dinosaurs, Baryonyx had three visible claws on each hand. However, the claws of one pair measured around 13 inches long, large enough to visibly dwarf the others. A digital test run in 2013 concluded that Baryonyx snout was better at holding up against bending or twisting than those of some present-day crocodilians. This would enable Baryonyx to hold on to large slippery prey. Before Baryonyx came along, few meat-eating dinosaurs were thought to have had narrow skulls. Accordingly, before 1983, Specialists usually assume that the head of Spinosaurus was boxy and rounded. After all though, a Spinosaurus lower jawbone had been excavated in 1915, and nobody knew what the rest of its cranium looked like. But Baryonyx unveiling shattered our preconceptions. This dinosaur bore some close anatomical parallels with what little Spinosaurus material the scientific community had at its disposal. Therefore, scientists finally realized that even without its massive sail, Spinosaurus was a whole lot weirder than your typical dino, and it's been getting weirder ever since. Glyptodon was a mammal which lived approximately 2 million to 10,000 years ago from the Pleistocene through to the modern period. It was discovered in the early 19th century and was later named by Richard Owen in 1839. Modern armadillos are tiny creatures that will curl up into balls if threatened. That's not the case with this creature. It was a one-ton Pleistocene armadillo roughly the size and shape of a classic Volkswagen Beetle. Amazingly, the early human settlers of South America occasionally used this creature's shells to shelter themselves from the elements, and also hunted this gentle creature to extinction for its meat, which could feed an entire tribe for days. Allosaurus is a type of dinosaur called a theropod. This dinosaur lived around 155 million years ago during the Jurassic period, and probably lived in western parts of the United States. It was first discovered in 1869 by Ferdinand Hayden, and was later named in 1877 by orthonal Charles Marsh. The much later Tyrannosaurus Rex gets all the press, but pound for pound the 30 foot long one ton Allosaurus may have been the most fierce and meat eating dinosaur of the Mesozoic North America. Paleontologists have unearthed solid evidence that Allosaurus preyed on Stegosaurus, an Allosaurus vertebra of a punch wound that matches the size and shape of a Stegosaurus tail spike, and a Stegosaurus neck bone bearing an Allosaurus shaped bite mark. Like many predatory dinosaurs of the Mesozoic era, Allosaurus constantly grew and shed and replaced its teeth, some of which averaged 3 or 4 inches in length. Paleontologists have long speculated that the only way Allosaurus could have preyed on the huge 25 to 50 ton sauropods of its day was if this dinosaur hunted in packs. It's a compelling scenario and would make for a great movie, 
but the fact is Allosaurus individuals probably hunted smaller prey all on their own. Allosaurus would use its upper jaw like a hatchet and attack using the element of surprise. In any case, Allosaurus was a massive carnivore. The largest specimens may have rivaled the T-Rex in size, growing up to 39 to 43 feet long and 15 to 16 feet tall. Weight estimates of Allosaurus vary, but the specimen Big Al suggests this dinosaur weighed more than 3,300 pounds. It's possible that giant lizards up to 26 feet long lived in Australia just 30,000 years ago. These giants weighed between 730 and 1,300 pounds, and moved at speeds of up to 6 miles per hour. That makes Megalania the largest lizard that ever lived. Interestingly enough, some scientists believe that Megalania was venomous, so its bite was extremely deadly. However, the Megalania was no match for human hunters. It became extinct about the time humans first reached Australia, meaning that people exterminated it. Scientists suggest that the Megalania hunted other giant prehistoric animals, including marsupials. Boatloads of kelp littered the shores of the northern Pacific during the Pleistocene epoch, which helps explain the evolution of the Stellar Sea Cow, a 10 ton kelp munching dugon ancestor that persisted well into historic times, only going extinct in the 18th century. This marine mammal was hunted to oblivion by European sailors, who prized it for the whale like oil with which they fueled their lambs. Before being discovered by humans, the stellar sea cow would have had very few predators within its watery world. Large shark species would have been the only predators able to tackle such an enormous meal. This creature was also said to be a very tame animal that spent most of its life focusing on eating. However, the stellar sea cow was also said to be unable to submerge its enormous body underwater, making it an easy spot for human hunters. Basilosaurus can't lay claim to being the largest ever of its breed. That honour belongs to the blue whale, which can grow to as much as 200 tonnes. Scientists have studied this whale's jaws and teeth and have discovered that it probably had an enormous bite force. They found out this whale could bite down with a force of 2,300 pounds. Paleontologists believe it probably feasted on large fish and small whales, and probably anything else it could have gotten a hold of. One of the most interesting facts about Basiliosaurus is that so many specimens were found in the southern part of the US. As such, paleontologists have plenty of specimens they could use to draw a pretty accurate picture of this prehistoric whale's size and diet. While dinosaurs get all the attention, our planet was full of giant animals before they ever came along. A prime example is Gorgonobs, an animal that lived 260 million years ago way before dinosaurs became the dominant predators. Gorgonops was approximately 10 feet long and weighed around 1,000 pounds, which would have made it about the size of a small great white shark. Tyrannosaurus rex is by far the most popular dinosaur that ever lived, spawning a huge number of books, movies, TV shows and even video games. One feature of Tyrannosaurus rex that everyone likes to make fun of is its arms which seemed disproportionately tiny compared to the rest of its massive body. The fact is though that T-Rex's arms were over 3 feet long, and may have been capable of bench pressing 400 pounds each. In any event, T-Rex didn't have the smallest arm to body ratio of any carnivorous dinosaur. That honour belongs to the truly comical looking Carnotaurus. Some experts think that shards of rotten bacteria infested meat gave Tyrannosaurus rex a septic bite, which infected and wounded prey. This would have meant that T-Rex's prey would pass away very slowly. Tyrannosaurus rex also had one of the most powerful bites of any land animal. It could bite down with a force of between 7,000 to 9,000 pounds per square inch. That's enough to crush bone. At 15 meters long and weighing around 45 tons, Predator X was one of the most powerful marine reptiles ever discovered. Pliosaurus is an extinct animal which lived approximately 150 million to 145 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. It was first discovered during the mid 19th century, and described and named by Richard Owen in 1842. Its name means Pliocene lizard in Greek. 
The Pleosaurus, also known as Predator X, was a giant predator that roamed the oceans. Pleosaurus would have been around the same length of a sperm whale, but only the weight of a humpback whale. This would have made it a feared predator of any fish which stared across its path. However, being one of the biggest doesn't mean you're the safest. Paleontologists believe there were several reasons why this animal went extinct. First of all, Mosasaurus came on the scene at about this time, and competed heavily with Pleosaurus for its main food source, fish. That's because Mosasaurs were faster and agiler than Pleosaurus. They were also more vicious animals. This was just enough of an edge for them to outcompete Pleosaurus for fish. Second, water temperature began to change during this time, and this creature may not have been able to adapt quickly enough, which is probably why this animal went extinct some 145 million years ago. This giant predator would have feasted on fish, squid, smaller sharks, and other giant reptiles. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.